The RBI is all set to announce the monetary policy and the governor is speaking right now. Let's listen expected in. expected to hold up well. The rate hikes since May 2022 are still working their way through the system. On balance, the MPC was of the view that further calibrated monetary policy action is warranted to keep inflation expectations anchored, break the persistence of core inflation and thereby strengthen the medium term growth prospects. Accordingly, the MPC decided to raise policy repo rate by 25 basis points to 6.5%. The MPC will continue to maintain strong vigil on the evolving inflation outlook so as to ensure that it remains within the tolerance band and progressively aligns with the target. Inflation is expected to average 5.6% in the fourth quarter of 23-24, while the policy repo rate is, after the current, after today's revision, now stands at 6.5%. Adjusted for inflation, the policy rate still trails its pre-pandemic levels. Liquidity remains in surplus with an average daily absorption of 1.6 lakh crore under the LAF in January 23. The overall monetary conditions therefore remain accommodative and hence the MPC decided to maintain, to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation. I would now like to provide uh, our assessment of uh, growth and inflation. First, I would like to take up growth. Available data for Q3 and Q4 of the current financial year, that is 22-23, indicate that economic activity in India remains resilient. Urban consumption demand has been firming up, driven by sustained recovery in discretionary spending, especially on services such as travel, tourism and hospitality. Passenger vehicle sales and domestic air passenger traffic posted robust year-on-year -year growth. Domestic air passenger traffic crossed pre-pandemic levels for the first time in December 2022. Rural demand continues to show signs of improvement as tractor sales and two-wheeler sales expanded in December. Several high-frequency indicators also point towards strengthening of activity. I have listed out some of the high-frequency indicators which show improvement and strengthening of activity in the footnote of my statement. As you know, the statement will be uploaded in the RBI website. So if you are interested, you may like to have a look at it. Investment activity continues to gain traction. Non-food bank credit expanded by 16.7% as on January 27, 2023. The total flow of resources to the commercial sector has increased by rupees 20.8 lakh crore during 22-23 so far as against 12.5 lakh crore rupees a year ago. Indicators of fixed investment, that is cement output, steel consumption, and production and import of capital goods registered robust growth in November and December. In several sectors such as cement, steel, mining, and chemicals, there are signs that additional capacity is being created in the private sector. According to the RBI survey, seasonally adjusted capacity utilization increased to 74.5% in Q2 22-23. The drag from the net external demand, on the other hand, continued as, a, as merchandise exports contracted in Q3 22-23. On the supply side, agricultural activity remains strong with good rubby sowing, higher reservoir levels, good soil moisture, favorable winter temperature, and comfortable availability of fertilizers. PMI manufacturing and PMI services remained in expansion at 55.4 and 57.2 respectively in January 23. Turning to the outlook, the expected higher rubby output has improved the prospects of agriculture and rural demand. The sustained rebound in contact-intensive contact sectors should support urban consumption. Broad-based credit growth, 
improved capacity utilization, government's thrust on capital expenditure and infrastructure in the union budget recently presented should support, uh, should bolster investment activity. Let me repeat, broad-based credit growth, improving capacity utilization, government's thrust on capital spending and infrastructure should bolster investment activity. According to our surveys, manufacturing, so manufacturing services and infrastructure sector firms are optimistic about the business outlook. On the other hand, protracted geopolitical tensions, tightening global financial conditions and slowing external demand may continue as downside risks to domestic output. Taking all these factors into consideration, the real GDP growth for 2023-24 is projected at 6.4%. I repeat, the real GDP growth for 2023-24, that's for the next financial year, is projected at 6.4%, with Q1 at 7.8%, Q2 at 6.2%, Q3 at 6%, and Q4 at 5.8%. The risks are evenly balanced. I would now like to turn to inflation. Headline CPI inflation moderated <coughs> by 105 basis points during November-December 2022 from its level of 6.8% in October 22. So October 22 it was 6.8% uh, and by end December, I mean going by the December data, there was a moderation of 105 basis points and that was quite a significant uh, moderation. This was due to a softening in food inflation on the back of sharp deflation in vegetable prices, which more than offset the inflationary pressures from cereals, protein-based food items, and spices. As a result of this earlier than anticipated steeper seasonal decline in vegetable prices, inflation for Q3 22-23 has, turn, has turned out to be lower than our projections. Core inflation, that is CPI excluding food and fuel, however, remained elevated. Going ahead, the food in inflation outlook will... Announcements from the RBI, Governor. I'm going to go straight across to my colleague Karishma for more details on what has been said. Some relief as far as inflation is concerned or what is it that uh, you find is the biggest takeaway really from this these announcements in that sense, uh, Karishma? Well, right. Uh, I think this is a much expected news in terms of the rate hike. But, uh, um, Neha, what has to be looked into is that this is the lowest quantum high that the hike that has been seen in the last few months because uh, RBI's projection throughout the past few months has been on a higher note with uh, starting off with 50 basis points in the beginning of the year. Uh, this 25 was well expected because uh, um, like the economists have been predicting and also like the RBI governor has said that uh, because of um, lowering of inflation, we have seen that the rate hike could actually take a pause. In fact, two key important uh, numbers that are coming out of RBI governor's briefing is also that uh, government keeps its uh, FY23, that is current year's GDP growth at 7% and they've also set a 6.4% expectation for FY24 GDP, that is the next year. This is also close to what, in fact, uh, the union budget and ECHO survey had said, which will be between 66.8%. Uh, uh, so, uh, green, uh, I think, uh, green shoots in terms of the announcements that have been made by RBI governor. Yes, Investment growth doing well. And um, uh, government is confident. Uh, RBI governor shows signs of growth in terms of the capex and investments that government has laid down. Karishma, I'm going to thank you for the moment for getting us those details and breaking that down for us as to what these announcements really mean as far as inflation is concerned about the target of four. It's going to be at 6.5 is what has been estimated just now by the RBI governor.